how it's tough when uh when they were at kathy's um dinner party the dinner party from hell and erica was just like having the moment she's like she puts a hand down like this and she's like i'm getting ready to whatever the hell and kathy's like calm down calm down i freaking love it i yes. love her she's like calm down she's like i, I take oh take God. a minute dear yeah take a minute so classic I would love that would be me but i would be like probably saying something a little bit more choice and direct than that Yes. Mm. I, I thought that was classic where she's like, dear, just, like, like, like so sometimes out. you like forget, like I forget Kathy's at the reunion. Like she, you forget she's there. And then she speaks like one word and you're like, oh yeah, <laughs> Kathy's like, she steals so, the scene. Because she's so authentic. She's so authentic. And I still think in every scene and situation, she's trying to still figure out what's going on. That's what's yeah. so hilarious. It's like, she she knows what's going on, but not really. Like she doesn't understand how. So she's just well, like like she's having people over for dinner. She doesn't realize that this is being filmed and it's edited. Right. And so right. it's like she has a moment, and you're like she's really confused. Remember when when they had the <laughs> the one scene, the last episode, I think, or close to it, when they were getting the facials, and she was getting the facial, and and the woman was saying whatever, and they said about the meditation, or maybe it was when they were at the hotel. And, and they asked her a question about chakras and the meditation goes, she goes, Oh, I, um, uh, I just blocked them out. Like she, like they were asking her what, what, what was her like mantra? What was her word for what does she, does she know what chakras are and the meditation? And she's just like, Oh no, when they're talking, I just blocked them out. She's was- listen, she's, and you know, I mean, I, I could see that Andy is probably sitting there being like, just, it. this is the best thing that's ever happened to us. But you know, it's kind of like, honestly, in a way she's, she brings the American version of like that kind of like really funny. I mean, LVP is much drier and wittier in, you know, in her comments, but Kathy is like, she's just so, she's just so funny. And she's, she's, she's got her own like little thing. And she's kind of like the yin and the yang to LVP maybe. Yeah. All the diamond. Uh, listen, Kathy's not going anywhere. But so when did you start? Because I mean, I had the same reaction you did about Erica. Like when, what was it where you're just like, because again, at first when she was talking about this and I couldn't leave, I didn't have access. I'm like, you're saying the same thing, Andy, as you stayed for the money. Like when did you start to turn? Because I had the same feelings of like, I yeah, there was one, one thing Erica. asked. Her, didn't even she didn't even answer the question. She just started talking. She didn't answer the question. I was like, okay, guilty, guilty. She can't answer the question straight. But I felt like it turned for me where I kind of like had a a moment of like feeling for her when she said, um, you know, that it was just this was her life and she's fifty and she in his his she said, you know, he's eighty, his life is over he's in a memory care facility, but I just turned 50. And I, where she said, basically like she has to survive this, like her life has got to go on. And, you know, she just has to do what she has to do. She has to get through this. And she's 100% right. She has to. And, you know, there's a part of it that's true. I mean, she's not been accused of a crime. I mean, can she be, is she, can she be, and is she being accused of being really, cold, insensitive, insensitive, unsympathetic, just every thing you could imagine that's, you know, unflattering to say about someone. Yep. And would anyone basically be correct? Yep. But I think that she doesn't have, and maybe again, this goes back to her parenting that her, what she received from her mom. I don't think she has the tools to be vulnerable because it's not a safe place for her. She doesn't have anyone to be vulnerable with. She doesn't have a husband. She doesn't have a sibling. She doesn't have a mother that she can feel like that. She has to just kind of suck it up and put on her armor and just keep marching down the road. And all of the people that aren't going to go with her and fall to the wayside and are, you know, collateral damage and what she's created that's, that's what it is. She'll get new friends. She'll find someone else. And that's what I think. That's the way I think she thinks. 
Well, yeah. Well, two things like, well, that's the thing. Like if she really didn't know and now, you know, like when she says she hears from these women, I think this is when I started to have a moment with her, like, you know, women that are like, I've been married, you know, if you're really married to someone and you're like, you didn't know. And like, you were living with a stranger who created this mess whose life is over because they're 80 and now you're left holding the bag and yeah, you have, then it's like, okay, I get that too. And then it goes back to, if you sign these things and you knew that there was $25 million in your account for victims that weren't paid, that's where people are like, we don't care that you're 50. They want you to fry and rot in jail. And, and, and for me, the fact that in the fall of 2015, Tom said she spends so much money and that if anyone can afford her, they can have her. I heard it from his mouth. He said it. I heard it. I was right there. That's been going on for a long time. And this is before he was senile. So come on. She knew that that to me is like you, you're part of it. You're, you're, you're a very large part of the problem. And if she heard it, if your husband's saying you're spending too much money and anyone that wants to pay for you can have you, I don't know. I, I kind of would just say, geez, I think I need to, you know, relook at this. And if you really say like you love someone and you are going to be with them to the end and hold his hand to the end and you care about them, then when they're basically saying to you that you're spending too much money, why wouldn't you say, Hey, is this cool? Should I stop? Am I doing too much? Like we're a married couple. This is a, this is a couple, like, talk to me. I'm your wife. You're my husband. Like, let's, I don't know. I, I, I mean, would right. you do that? Right. Like you would say, right. Like is what is our financial situation? You made they- reference to this. Maybe I should cut back. Like you do what you have to do. Yeah. Well, even if there was a big power imbalance between them because he was so much older than her and he was the lawyer and he, you know, she subordinated herself to him. Okay. I'm, I'm giving her all of those things. I'm saying that that is truth, you know, and, and is it completely truthful? I don't know, but that's what she says. And okay, fine. But even still, when you're hearing this person who is basically, you know, the gatekeeper, who's giving you this life, telling you that you're doing too much. I don't know. And, and I, you would to- ask at least some question at yeah. that point. I mean, I, I would, like I've said this, I don't even know where I said this. I, I don't know if I said this to you, but I've said this, like if some, if I were married to someone and one day there was $25 million or whatever it is in my account, <laughs> although I would be thrilled and, you know, maybe I would take, 500 grand and just go blow it. I would be like, (laughs) right. I would be like, listen, this is the best day of my life, but I I really would do this. I'd be like, I want this out of my account, right? Literally take this out. Like I'm going to stare at it. I'm going to, but I, I need this $25 million out of my account. Cause now I don't know what the fuck's going on. That is just, I mean, it's, it's partly because I'm a lawyer, but partly this is how my mind thinks. And I do have to say, although I have a lot of married friends who disagree and you're, so I I don't know because I'm not married, but it's truly, if I were married and someone made all the money, I, this is, I swear to you, I wouldn't sign anything, but I'm not married. So a lot of people are like, but you trust that person so much. What do you mean you wouldn't sign anything? Well, like if someone like Teresa Giudice or like whatever, cause like whatever was put in front of me, I would be like, okay. First of all, what, what is this? Like, what is this document? Maybe this is why I'm single and I'm going to die alone, but (laughs) that's true. So I mean, but I have friends that are married that are like, no, you just sign what your husband puts in front of you. I just don't understand that. That's just me. Like, I, I don't care like who you are. I would would not do that. I would not do that. So you wouldn't do that. I mean, I I just, but like, there's no world, like there's no, like, there's no magical love potion you could sprinkle over me. And like, oh my God, tomorrow I'm a, like, it's, I don't care who you are that I was married to. If you said, can you just please sign this? I would say, what? What is it? 
That's what, that's where it's like, I don't, end, I mean, first of all, what a throwback to women. They were all, well, everyone's making these statements. So I, cause other, these other Beverly, I, I forgot who said it. I don't know if it was Kyle or, but some of them are like, no, you just sign what you're told or what you just put in front of you. I forgot if it was Kyle or Rena or maybe all of them. I, I, I think it's a, I think it's a, I don't, I mean, I, I don't remember who said it, but I think it comes down to and I think every situation is different. I think yeah. strictly Erica, this was a much older man. She was in her twenties and he was a very powerful attorney and she trusted him. And when, that was one of the things when she said that tonight, I was like, yep, I believe that. I totally, totally believe that. But I, again, will say she is no dummy. And I do think, I mean, she's smart enough to when she's talking and she's describing certain situations and legalities to use the proper words, she's smarter than she, she, you can't have it both ways. 